He said that it was parked in a running, running condition, but running poorly. You need for an engine to run, you need air, fuel, spark, and timing. It's probably, I'm going to hazard a guess, it's probably a fueling issue. Looks like, a, looks like he's got a brand new spark plug in there. Definitely noticing some oil up in there. Check that out too. Let's pull this air filter out. See what we find. There's an air filter in there. It's soaked in gas. Huh. That would indicate that it's flooding. Pretty black in there. Spark gap appears to be 27th thou. Let's take a little bit of emery and put a quick polish in there. Clean it up. Okay, right, I'll check and see if we have spark. Insert plug into there. It needs to be touching metal. And I don't really want to hold on to it very badly. Although that would tell me if I had spark or not. I see spark. Well, the compression didn't really very much for compression. Okay, no, oh, there's definitely air moving in and out of there. I don't have a compression tester. So, next question, is it getting fuel? The spark plug back in. And then I will put some fuel into the air intake and see if it'll fire up. So I'll spray a little bit of fuel into the intake where the uh, uh, air filter was and crank it over and see if it fires up.
Oop, that was a lot of fuel. Nothing. What's some choke? Nothing. Hmm. Okay, I found a problem. A problem. I don't know if it's the problem. I can get you guys in there. Okay, see the bolt that that ends? That's the carburetor. It's completely loose off of the intake. Well, it's definitely not helping the situation. Let's try and remedy that for starters. It almost doesn't look like there's any kind of gasket in there neither. I'll have to focus. I'll have to do a little reading on this thing and see if there's, I would have to think there's supposed to be a gasket in there. Huh. Anyways, I have to get that tightened up and see if it fires up. 